Kiki Malloy will lead things off. She is one home run shy of tying the all-time Lady Vols mark. 2 p.m. Central Time tomorrow. And what a start. And she sits down Malloy with the strikeout for Crandall in this first contest. Well, and bringing in some transfers and some strong freshmen too. Uh, this Baylor team only got stronger, holding 25 on their roster this year. Gibson, 3-1 offering here, as the count still favors the Lady Vol. And on the fifth pitch, she will trot down first base runner of the ball game. It is McKenna Gibson on the two-out walk. Here in the top of the first, got her. Crandall strikes out the side with a walk slipped in along the way. The 2-2 two -two to Hunt. Right back up the middle, and the Baylor Bears have their first base runner of 2024. Emily Hunt with the one-out single. Totally different standard for this team. One on, one out. That one pulled down the line. Two on for the Bears. Back-to-back -back singles for Baylor. Well, Golden last year, a program record 47 walks. Does not wait for the free pass. That we're considering participating. <laughs> Saw how good Baylor and Tennessee both were going to be. A chance for two. Cross the diamond instead. And Baylor is not going to be able to take advantage as they'll have runners on the corners with two outs. They do get the lead out. Obviously, she's got some power, but she is just your grit player. She'll send this one back to the warning track. It'll come up short, and ultimately, Baylor will strand two. The 2-2. Two -two. This one skyward. Pylon says she has it, she does. One away. Uh, just made such a difference. And they make it look easy, too. Fair ball off the bat of panel. Casey West at third, able to get it across in plenty of time to retire the sophomore. The one, two. Got her bat around the net. That's a diving stab at the hot corner by Casey West. A three up, three down inning. Concludes with an exclamation point. Just heads up right there. I mean, just to leave it all on the field. The payoff pitch from White. And a leadoff walk for Anna Watson. The 0-2 over the right side. That's a tough hop, but really well handled by Kutsoyanopoulos. They can't get the double play, but... And trying to come through here with her bat. Nice recognition, though, by Amber Tobin, recognizing that ball was going to be caught by Kiki Malloy. Didn't want to get doubled off. The pitchers responded with a 1.175 ERA. The line out into the glove of the panel, and that will do it. Crandall in the circle today for Baylor. This could be trouble. As ranging back, my apologies to Amber Tobin for questioning <laughs> whether she would get back there in time. In their only two meetings, the bulk of their matchups have been... Uh, on neutral diamonds, as this will hang up there for Wilson to get under to a win. 2 1, tough hop, and no recovery from there for Tennessee off of Riley Crandall. Not cheated on this one over towards the gap, but it's going to hang up there long enough for Mackenzie Wilson, who had plenty of speed to spare. Never got out of even third gear to get underneath that one. See how you can change a whole lot. Just an outstanding player from last year. Can she beat this one out? She will. Presumably an infield error based on what we saw last half inning, but Wilson is on. Second straight inning, Baylor gets their leadoff batter aboard. Emily Hott trying to move around the base paths and gets hit by the pitch. It's the second time in three innings Baylor has had two on. Come on, let's swing the bat here. Payoff pitch over the left side, and this will be trouble. Baylor will make the most of it, and then some. Mackenzie Wilson makes it all the way home from first as Emily Hunt this time puts her bat on it, and Bella Faw just committed a little too quickly over towards second, and the ball gets by her. Yeah, and that's a way to capitalize right there, putting the bat on the ball, making something happen. Sitting back, hitting that pitch up the middle, just enough to get Bella Fata to bite one way, and then that ball hits off the other side, can't backhand it, and this Peter McKenzie Wilson just takes over from there, scoring all the way from first. Remember, Wilson reached on the infield error on second, and Govin will punch this one out towards right. Katie Taylor in front of the warning track. Emily Hott's going to be able to tag up. 
with two outs, trying to extend this third inning. And Colin Pickens comes through with a timely strikeout, but not before Baylor finds the opening advantage. As Coach Moore said, you're consistently battling for second place. You kind of give that to Oklahoma and um, just the RPI alone. This one off the handle should be playable for Casey West. It is to win. Over the left side, West with the snag. That's a three up, three down inning for the second time today for the Baylor defense. Bad, they come to play a position and recognize, hey, we need a little something in the circle, and they step in to help. Well, Tennessee's got something in the circle. Carlin Pickens, a three up, three down, fourth inning. Focus at shortstop and in center field, looking for that pitch and, and kind of expecting what, what a batter's gonna do with a certain pitch being thrown. First time today, leadoff batter gets on for Tennessee. It's a walk for panel. Such a great foul ball, fouled straight back right there. Left side, Tovin gets the lead out. They won't be able to beat Toyanopoulos down the line, but well done. We mentioned how prolific Baylor was at turning two, but a big part of that is how well your shortstop. And the one two to Taylor up the middle. There's the middle infield that we know so well from Baylor 2023. Strong hitter in the number nine hole, Presley Pylon, to set up McKenzie Wilson. And a strikeout by Pickens. Uh, you know, there's a couple spots in this field where a, a nicely placed ball would get her all the way around the bases. Back to back strikeouts for Pickens. Starting at second base. Junior starting uh, right field. Hawk's going to put a charge into this one, and Baylor has doubled its lead. A two out blast from Hawk. She's played them all, <laughs> she'll touch them all. Absolutely. Well, and that's just what the speed of Pickens is gonna do. If you can get a good pitch and just get your bat on the ball with good timing, the speed of her pitch is gonna make that ball fly. And you see that right there going to the deepest part of the field. Three home runs a year ago. The first to go deep for the green and gold here in 2024. Just getting on top of that rise ball right there, making sure to not pop that up too much. Good bat angle, it just takes that ball all the way. Just when Carlin Pickens had settled in her third inning of work, back-to-back -back strikeouts, trying to get a quick fifth inning under her belt. A lot of knowledge being passed down now. Govin trying to extend this inning. But four batters for Baylor come to the plate in the fifth. In that line thus far, pitching the shutout here against second-ranked Tennessee. The 2-2 to Leach over the right side. That's just the second time this lineup, both with suboptimal conditions. Riley Crandall will fan Kiki Malloy for a second time today. So top of the six, two up, two down. Here's Riley West. And that ball is a fair ball. First base hit of the day for Tennessee, and it's extra bases for Riley West. Here's McKenna Gibson. As this could be trouble, it's going to get down, and Tennessee now is on the board. A little two-out rally with back-to-back -back base hits. The first two hits of the night for the Volunteers has now cut this Baylor lead down to one. Gibson with the RBI single. Well, on third time through the lineup, you can't keep shutting these Tennessee hitters down. Not with the number that they put up and the, the skill that they have, and they're taking advantage right here. Now seeing Riley for the third time through. Again, the 2-2, got her chasing. And that'll do it for the inning. Uh, Tennessee claws one run back. Payoff pitch to Coyazos. And again, it was a 3-0 count at one point, worked full, but in the end, a free pass the hard way. And for today, 0 for 2. She will launch this one back towards left. Riley West, though, on the warning track with a sigh of relief as that ball dies down into her glove. And strain, the pinch runner, has to stay at first. Shot up the middle. And by the time it gets to Malloy, you've got two Baylor Bears on the base paths with two outs. Again, the 3-2 from Pickens. Cran will punch this out towards right. Taylor underneath it, and Baylor will strand a pair. On to the seventh inning. 
Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Benford and the two batters she has faced this season now in relief. One, two from Benford. She'll let the shortstop Tobin handle it and can't do it. Benford's such an athlete, her natural reaction as someone who's played short in third is to go after that ball. Top of the seventh. Strike him out. Could not throw him out. But Baylor is one out away from a win. With that said, the time run now in scoring position for Tennessee. Sophomore back in her home state. Shot to center. Mackenzie Wilson back to the wall. It's gone. Tennessee has its first lead. Destiny Rodriguez, who went all of last season without a home run, finds her first as a Lady Vol. How about that for a coaching call? I mean, two outs, game on the line, I'm gonna bring in a pinch hitter, and man, does she deliver. The sophomore puts a charge in that one. There's the, the strikeout before him, but all of it right there. McKenzie Wilson give the best effort that she possibly could. Ball to Pylon. Presley Pylon will head back to the dugout, grab her bat, and try to get a comeback rally started. The payoff pitch from Pickens. Shot over short, well handled by Fall. Big moment and able to come through. Again, the payoff pitch. Ball four with one out. Tying run on first. We've seen a couple plays here on the infield just about an inch away from. But that was just the second out. Doing a great job watching that 3-0 pitch go by. It's hard to give up on that one, but. 47 walks last year. She has her first of 2024. The one run deficit in the third. 2-1, this could be ball game. Gibson. Able to get the final out, and it's Tennessee with a home run in the top of the seventh from Destiny Rodriguez, who finds the late lead and improves when it's all said and done to 2-0. and oh.